variables about each team. <laughs> if we use the logic that no one can speak to Arsenal, who hasn't finished above them in the league this year, Arsenal Football Club should have been silent for the past, for the past what, three or four years? They shouldn't have been talking about any type of football. And that's why I didn't like it. For me, it's... It, it, it yeah, it's, not, it's not just that for me, sorry. Yeah, for me, it's gassing up everything, getting paid actors on there, yeah, that don't believe what they're saying. It's all who's about... Paid, who's a paid actor? Who's a paid actor on AFTV? Mate, if you, if you watch that channel, what, what, they, work, they all work in there for free. What, they're Samaritans? Yeah, I mean, they pay fans. Like, come on, they're, not, they're not working for free, tell. <laughs> yeah, but you get paid to do certain work. You're not an actor. No, no, no. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Slow down, yeah? Right, slow down one second, right? There is people on that channel. I'm not going to name them, but the only two that I even entertain watching are Dan Potts and Turkish. That's it. I, Yardman, big up to him. And I want to I want to say this right now, because you've got a big platform, Terry, yeah? The way that he clo put him, f kept talking over him, if somebody sent me the video, I don't watch it. I don't watch that channel, yeah? I very rarely watch Dan and Turkish, and I love them both, yeah? I very rarely watch it because it's all the same. It's all the same. They're all jockeying for position. They're all trying to get into the next Edu press conference or the next Arteta press conference or, oh, let me get, oh, I want to get on a watch along and this, uh, the size of that hornet at my door. <laughs> Jesus Sorry, that Christ. Threw me. That threw me. Right? But my point, and now it's in my fucking house. Oh, dear. It's gone. <laughs> right, we're, we're safe. right. So my point is, Right, there is a lot of people on there. I'll give an I'll call him out as well, Julian. Yeah, that guy's a disgrace. And I'll tell you exactly why that guy's there. Because he's got a few quid and he can open avenues and doors, mate. That's it. And I'm not going to turn this into an AFTV disfest, but that channel, yeah, has gone from being and set up to give the fans a voice, blah, 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 blah. And it very quickly realized, yeah, when certain things went down, yeah that, oh, we need to change and clean our act up and reinvent ourselves. And now they've gone completely the opposite way. There's nobody on there that is allowed to speak their opinion. And when they do, Yardman gets shut down. Well, if you want to do your own interview, do your own interview. It's his interview. Yeah, and that is the problem with English football media. Yeah, because as soon as somebody has a difference of opinion with the general consensus, instantly shut down, talked over, put in the bin. Yeah, suppression level 100. And for me, that's not right. Yeah, because the only reason most of these people are going down that road is because they want to get the, the ringside seats at a boxing because they have to, oh, or they can get me on at Sky Sports. Yeah, they can open that door. Or they can get me on Talk Sport. Come on, man. Or they can get me a, a job as the social media guy for them, who's related to Talk Sport Moose, by the way. Yeah, who promotes all these kids online that are probably paid by the club to tweet. Yeah, and when you deep it and know it and have been there, seen it, done it, like not done it in terms of light, because I say what I want, but when you've seen it all going down, it's not just that. There's other platforms that do the same, and it's very, very funny to watch, yeah, because as soon as somebody does have a difference of opinion on them channels, instantly shut down by the person who owns the channel every single time. Because, oh, my God, no, no, this could get us a sponsorship deal cancelled. The whole idea of setting up a channel and having a voice online is to give your honest opinion, not give an opinion of what people you think people want to hear because that's the general consensus and I'll just go with that. Yeah, if I really wanted to say what I want to say, mate, yeah, I could go on for about an hour about this. Yeah, but I'm not going to because it ain't about that. Yeah, the point is, yeah, we are um, in a cut or the club is in a country where they very quickly cottoned on to what happened in lockdown. Yeah, and they thought, you know what? We can just get them in our back pocket because they're being super positive. Oh, we we'll send Edu out to meet him a couple of times. Oh, well, we've already got a couple of puppet journos in the back pocket. Oh, yeah. Charles Watts, yeah, yeah. We've told we've told everyone that the party's not signing. And, and Fabrizio's tweeted he ain't signed. But we'll give you the exclusive. You've been a good boy. He's now wrote a book about Arteta that he's charging 20 quid for. Yeah? He sits in asking stupid, dumb questions about, oh, would you ever go out with a Bamiyang for a coffee? He's asking that in a press conference. What? <laughs> oh. No, then, then you have Ian Wright. Only he has scored more goals at Arsenal. Yeah, only he has. Yeah, legend of the football club. Yeah, absolute scumbag. Wills out merch every time. He'll be on the American tour. Never says what he thinks. Yeah, because he's paid to be an ambassador or whatever the crap is. And he gets in direct 
off of the back of that. Ray Parler, another one. Martin Keown, another one. Sitting on TalkSport with Jim White the other day. So, and Jim White said, so you're saying failure is actually success. And Martin Keown said, yes. Yeah, sorry, mate. Martin Keown, Ray Parler and Ian Wright. Would they have ever said that to George Graham? They would, he would have drop kicked him down the, down the Hornsey mm -hmm. Road. Like, do me a favour. And the manipulation, yeah, and, and the, the belittling and the finessing and the PR and the buzzwords, trust the process. That says a lot without saying anything. Tell me what the process is. Tell me the breakdown of the process. Yeah. Tell me what the phases are. Tell me when we went from phase one to three. Was it when we won the FA Cup? Like, come on, man. Look, listen, I, I think <laughs> I personally feel like, again, on AFTV, as I know a lot of people there, and I know, I know Dan Potts, um, I listen to a bit of his stuff. I listen to um, I listen to a lot of Turkish stuff as well. I like what Turkish has got to say. Mm. Um, I feel like, of course, he's Cecil, someone I met and someone I get on with. Now, Cecil, a lot of people, I've, I've seen people accuse him of being a paid actor. He's not. He's He does body double work. And he, he I think he was or is no, a professional. They're all paid and none of them give their true opinion. That's but it. again, there's a difference. So there's, there's two things I want to say, though. Someone being paid to do a job for AFTV. I assume AFTV did or still does make a lot of money based on the size of it. And I think if they want people to work for them full time, they should be paying them because of the size. Oh, of course, of I don't disagree like, with AJ, that. But they AJ, should be allowed to get AJ, their own opinion without AJ, being shouted yeah. down. And, and I think for me, like I've seen a lot of people say, are people really saying what they want to think and feel? I don't know whether or not that's because the club are paying them to do it or whether or not people are just trying to come across a certain way. Now, I, I'm not calling any individual out, but I've, I've, I've had a few conversations with, with, with you know, me and Igal were going at it the other day. And I'm like, Igal, <laughs> like you were saying that it's illogical for people to want Arteta to be sacked but at the same time the things you've criticized Arteta for and he blamed Arteta for the collapse this year by the way and I'm like see what you said there about Arteta his failings in this collapse there are some gooners that believe that he's never going to get any better than this therefore they want him sacked so why is it illogical now Igao isn't out there attacking people online and shutting them down and being nasty and I think that's where my problem comes in and I think this goes away from AFTV I think this is the wider population man united fans have this this listen i've had i've had fans of multiple clubs come to me this year and say i can't watch you anymore terry you've been too nice about arsenal <laughs> and, it, and it makes me laugh because in years gone by i've been very nice about chelsea i've been very nice about liverpool in fact go back to the 2017-18 season i was very complimentary about what city were doing this year was a little different because we changed our, our tact in terms of the way we made videos we used to do two live streams a day and there were more generic titles. Now we do a couple of pre-recorded videos in one live stream. So the pre-recorded videos are very specific about a particular point. So maybe it protrudes a little bit more, but in terms of the amount of time and energy we spent on other clubs, it's, I remember doing a stream with Chris from Red Men TV and Alex from uh, the DR Sports, both big Liverpool fans. And they were loving it because I was sitting there talking about how good their team were. And they were like, this is the best stream I've ever been on, Terry, because I love seeing a Man United fan say we're the best team in the world. So I know I've certainly bigged up other teams in the past, no matter what, but people are very much, and, and as Rom says, you know, I supported, I didn't support Liverpool last year. I backed you to come back and beat Liverpool to the title. You backed you, them for the title this year. And and yeah, and you did. So I've, I've done it to a lot of teams. The only reason that I think Arsenal stood out is because in the summer, and it's why I, I want to get onto, it, it's kind of meanders nicely into my Apology to Gary Neville that certain. Whilst you're doing that, I'm going bathroom quickly. They keep, they keep asking. Make sure you do apologise. I want to hear the words. I'm sorry, Gary. Oh, I got I'm, it wrong, Gary. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll let you come back because I want you. I want you to hear it. I want you to hear what I've got to say. But as I was saying, Ali, like, I don't personally think anybody at Arsenal is paid a paid actor or not really an Arsenal fan or anything along those lines. I do think, and this happens everywhere. Some people are like, oh, if I say X. I might lose popularity. I might lose followers on Twitter. I, I can't say the right thing. How? Why do I think people worry about it? it is because it definitely happens. I have lost. I have people all the time say I'm unsubscribing because I don't like how you criticize Klopp. I'm unsubscribing because I don't like what you said about Ten Hag today. I'm unsubscribing because you 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 didn't praise Spurs enough. People Spurs fans wanted my channel boycotted this earlier on this in the season because I predicted them coming fifth. So. But for me, I look beyond it and just think, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to stay true to myself and say what I believe. 